out there, floss tube fans. Um, welcome to my first floss tube. My name is Kat. Um, I stream here on YouTube as Cross Stitch Chaos. I also have an Instagram with the same name, so if you don't follow me on Instagram yet, go find me, Cross Stitch Chaos. I post my work in progress updates there all the time. Um, you can also find me on Twitch. I have the username Cross Stitch Chaos. I've not uploaded any videos there. Um, and then my gaming tag is ViolaCat03, so you can check me out on either of my Twitch streams, uh, whether you want to watch me play The Sims or whether you want to watch me cross stitch. So um, I apologize for any background noise that we have going on right now. Um, I actually have my windows in my house open. It's the middle of January. I live in Ohio and it's 60 degrees outside. So I opened all the windows in my house and the heat is turned off and it's amazing. Um, if, if, I, if I could drive right now, I would be out driving my convertible. Um, but I can't drive right now because the day after Christmas, um, I had a really bad kitchen accident. Um, I ended up with first and second degree burns down my leg and on my foot. Um, so I've been kind of housebound for the last two weeks. Um, I'm finally to the point where I'm uh, mobile. I can walk around. I just, I still can't do shoes and socks and things like that. So I'm still really limited on getting out of the house. But um, in the meantime, I've been doing a lot of work on my cross stitch and that's, that's my cat trying to climb my leg right now. Um, she'll show up eventually. Um, she has to be in everything that I do. So um, I wanted to share with you guys some of my works in progress um, and let you know a little bit about what I'm doing, a little bit about me. Uh, so I'm going to start with the one that I've been working on the most. Um, I have what I call active works in progress. And I think everybody knows what I mean, where you have those projects that you started and you're like, I really don't love this. Or you get bored with it and you kind of set it aside and then it kind of gets buried. Um, my, my craft room constantly looks like a tornado went through it. So it's uh, the, the active works in progress are out in my living room where I can actually get to them. Whereas my not so active ones are in the craft room buried. So this is my main one that I'm working on right now. This is a heaven and earth piece. Um, it's by Sherry Gerhardt of Mystic Moon Media. Um, it's part of her Harry Potter series. This is Wisdom, which is the Ravenclaw crest and you can see what I've got done of it. Um, I'm working on page four, right? Well, it's not page number four, but it's the fourth page that I'm working on right here. And I'm about half, a little over half finished with that page. So it's finally starting to take shape. You can see the edge of the shield. This is gonna be the Ravenclaw crest. Uh, the bird kind of starts right about right here and then its head goes over here. So I'm really excited that I'm not in just bland, boring stripes and solids now. Um, the shield took forever because it, it was really slow moving because it's actually a ton of confetti. You would never guess that this, you know, kind of plain grayish looking shield with so much confetti, but holy cow it was. So that's the main, kind of the main one I'm working on right now. Um, I was working on another project, um, trying to get it finished by the new year. But after I got hurt, I was like, you know what's here? I want to, I want to do what I want to do. And in that case, it was my head on earth. So, um, I've been working on this one. Um, I'm now on a nine day streak straight working on it. That's the most I've ever worked in it uh, in one stretch. I started in October of 2016. So it's now a year and was it three or four months old and I'm only on page four. So I'm not on track to finish it very quickly. So I really want to kind of focus on it. I want to do the 100 days of heaven and earth challenge where you put at least 100 stitches in every for 100 days. So I'm on streak, uh, like I said, I'm on day nine of a streak right now on that. Um, where I've done at least 100 stitches or close to 100. There was one day I did 70, um, but to make up for it, I did like 1,200 the day before, so it's okay. Um, so I want to get that piece significantly more finished this year. That's kind of one of my goals. Um, the other big piece I'm working on, uh, this is the one that I was trying to get finished by the end of the year um, and set aside and all of my friends are asking me when I'm going to finish this because they've been seeing progress on this. I've been working on this piece for six years now and there's no excuse for me to not have it done. It's really not that big of a piece. I've done a piece almost as big in a year and a half. So um, this is Beauty and the Beast, Falling in Love. It's one of the Thomas Kincaid pieces and I've got part of it rolled up here so, so you can actually see it. There we go. Up on the scroll frame. So as you can see, it is almost done. I've got a half a page worth across the top on this side and one page worth across the top on this side to finish. Um, I believe it's four pages tall, so it's it's over three-fourths finished. And I, I really don't have an excuse for not finishing it other than I'm getting really bored with stitching it 
honestly. Um, it was a lot of fun while I was working on the characters, and now that the characters are done and it's just sky and trees, I really struggle to work with it, so let me roll it back up here. Um, I, it, you've probably noticed by now, all of my work is on scroll frames. I love scroll frames. Um, my huge one, that big 36 inch wide one that uh, the, the Heaven and Earth is on, uh, my brother custom made that for me. He used, uh, he actually used this scroll frame as his, uh, as his design base. Um, and he made uh, kind of a, a, a pattern really out of this frame. Um, and then we bought the dowel rods to fit into it. So he cut the side pieces. I'll pull the back up so you can see it. He cut the side pieces for me. And then we went out and bought the hardware and then the dowel rods. So there's the side pieces that my brother cut. So I think that's pretty cool. He used his drill press to do that. And then it doesn't have, it's not a split rail. It doesn't have anything st stapled to it or anything glued to it. It's just, I use uh, blue painter's tape, which doesn't leave a residue um, to hold the, the fabric to the frame. And because I can custom make these frames now, well, my brother can custom make these frames now, I can make them any width I want, which is, which is really cool because I can, I have a 48 inch wide one. Um, one of my projects that I have kitted up is a super size heaven and earth. And it's the, the stitching shelf or a stitch in time. Um, I'm doing the, the stitching shelf version of it without the, the logo in the middle. Um, but it's, it's a humongous, just massively wide piece. And so my brother made me a 48 inch wide frame and I have a picture of me standing with it up to my chest from the floor. So that's pretty cool. Um, I really appreciate that he does that for me. His wife also cross stitches. She's really into cross stitching too. So um, kind of benefited both of us when he was like, yeah, I'll make you guys some frames. And so he's made us both lots of scroll frames. I've got a stack of dowel rods uh, in my craft room. Um, that I can change out uh, my pieces on on the the side rails if I need to. So it's really awesome. Um, also, he has offered to make these. If any of you are interested, um, it it would be cost prohibitive to ship the dowel rods. So you would need to go someplace like Lowe's and buy your dowel rods. But he can make these um, for a pretty reasonable price and ship them. If anybody in the U.S. is interested in those, my brother would be happy to make them for you. Um, so if you want to get a custom size scroll frame, um, I think he's, I think he wanted like $20, uh, for materials, time, and, and then, you know, plus shipping to, to mail those side frames out. So if any of you are interested in that, um, pop down in the comments. Uh, so moving on in my works in progress, I ramble really badly. Um, I do a lot of video blogging for my other hobby, which is roller coasters, um, which you'll hear me talk about on this channel a lot, probably. Um, I'm way into roller coasters. I work in an amusement park. I've worked in an amusement park for the last six years. Um, well, different amusement parks for the last six years. That's how I... Somebody's got a loud... That sounds like my Camaro. My Camaro that's sitting in my garage that's over there that I really want to drive, but I can't because it's a manual and my left foot is the one that I burned. Um, so anyway, because I get distracted easily. Um, but anyway, my husband and I met at an amusement park. We've been married for five and a half years. Um, we have worked at Kings Island. We have worked at Coney Island. We have worked at Dollywood. Um, I have also worked at SeaWorld and Universal Studios in Orlando. Um, so amusement parks are a big part of my life. Um, I do uh, some video blogging for that. So I'm kind of used to talking to a camera by itself. It doesn't weird me out. So uh, moving on. Um, oh, I have to show you guys this awesome bag. This is the bag that my sister-in-law, my brother's wife, made for me to keep my stitching in. And it's Ohio State, because I'm a huge Ohio State fan. That's where I went to college. Go Bucks! Um, so there's one side of it. It's got one big, uh, two big, two little pockets on that side and one big pocket on this side. And it is completely covered in dog hair. <laughs> um, I have a German Shepherd. She, there's dog hair everywhere in this house. I'm constantly picking it out of my projects. Uh, so ooh, I can't show this one. This one is a, a secret. <laughs> it's a gift for somebody. Uh, so I can't show that one, but I can show this one. I broke my Q snap frame. So I have not worked on this one yet because it needs to be moved to a scroll frame and I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So again, covered in dog hair. Um, really, this one's actually really, really bad. Uh, this was my first heaven and earth start. Um, this is called the Small Magellanic Cloud. It's a NASA photo. Um, it is my favorite NASA photo. Um, I've always been fascinated with the NASA photos. I think they are amazing and incredible. So this is my progress on it. I have two and a half pages finished, a little, about two and three quarters pages finished on it. 
Um, I started this in 2015, late 2015. Um, it has not been touched in almost two years. Um, it got worked on extensively. I used it for several of the Heaven and Earth challenges. Um, as you can see, uh, the one kind of lonely page that's completed down here, that was one of the challenge pieces. Um, but it's, I got distracted again. I get so easily distracted. Uh, and I started Wisdom and it took all of my focus. So I'll come back to you, I promise. I miss you. I can't wait to see you hanging above my bed. I'll take my cross stitch pieces now. Okay, so other works in progress that I can show you. Like I said, I've got one in here I can't show. It's a, it's a surprise and the person it's for might stumble across this channel and I don't want them to know, so. Um, this is one that I have been working on, not even kidding, since 2013, and it's not a challenging piece. It's just boring. So this is the wedding sampler that my husband and I chose. Um, it's a really cute piece. It's got our names drawn in the sand, Cat and Nick. And then over here, um, there's a really pretty saying um, about life giving us a fairy tale. Um, I was going to finish this. Uh, earlier that well late last year I lost the color key <laughs> and I don't know how to get another one so I have all the threads and I have the pattern but I don't have the thing that tells me which thread is which symbol <laughs> so I don't know how to get a new one of those um oh my phone's going off um hey there's the pattern for small Magellanic cloud so if you want to see what it looks like what it'll look like when it's finished that's what it's gonna look like I don't know if you can see that very well, but that's what it'll look like when it's finished. Um, my other kind of matching work in progress, this is the Hogwarts Crest. This was a free pattern online. Um, I believe it was Stitch All the Things on Tumblr. I can look that up and I'll put, I'll put it down here in the description. Um, I'll put links to all of the patterns that are currently available. I'll put links to the Heaven and Earths down here. Um, I'll put the links to this. Um, I also have the matching crest patterns for these. I finished Ravenclaw. Uh, my sister-in-law did Gryffindor and Hufflepuff for me. And then I'm gonna do Slytherin and I'm gonna hang them all kind of in like a cool pattern. Um, the last of my act, oh hey, check it out. I've got the Ravenclaw one here to show you. This was my only finish of 2017. I got distracted with my big ass projects. So that's my only finish of 2017, the Ravenclaw crest. It goes with the Hogwarts crest that I'm working on. And like I said, my sister-in-law finished Gryffindor and Hufflepuff. Um, I'm super into Harry Potter, I'm sure you've noticed. Um, I actually used to work in the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Uh, so it kind of nerd moment there for you. Um, when people talk about, oh, I want to go to, I want to go to the Harry Potter world. Yeah, I used to work there. I worked on Forbidden Journey. Um, so I'm missing one of my whips. It's a little one though, um, and it's also a gift, so I actually shouldn't show it. Um, he knows it's coming. He just doesn't know what it is. I told him at Christmas that I didn't get a chance to finish it. Uh, so this is probably my longest standing active whip. It's my little dolphins here. I've been working on these guys since 2009. <laughs> and that's all the further I've gotten. They're gray, they're boring. Um, I've always wanted to do this picture. I've wanted to do it since I was a little kid. I found the the chart for half off, or the kit for half off at Joann's. I bought it, I barely touched it. So there you have my works in progress. There you have all of my wordiness and it's in its best. Um, my goals for this year, I really wanna get Beauty and the Beast finished. Um, I have like a ridiculous stash of cross stitch, like it's ridiculous. Um, and a lot of Disney things. I'm a huge Disney fan. As you can see, I'm wearing a Disney, Walt Disney World hoodie. Um, so I have, a, I have a huge stack of the Thomas Kincaids. I have um, Sleeping Beauty. I have Little Mermaid. I have Cinderella. I have Lion King. I have um, the one that he did of the castle. Um, this is Cinderella's castle at Walt Disney World. So I've, I've got, I need to finish this so I can, work, I can justify starting another one. I think I'm gonna start on the castle next. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Cause I've, I've still got a whole bunch of heaven and earth. I have another heaven and earth that I've started. I've got about a quarter of a page done. I've got, uh, and that one, I hate the way I'm stitching it. So I think I'm actually going to rip out or frog what I already have. Um, because I hate it. I hate the version 
I, I don't know I don't like it I'm doing it I'm doing it one over one on 28 count and and I, I was always really particular about my backs and that just doesn't work as well with a heavy confetti which this one is it's a Donna Gelsinger um, it's called Spirit of the Pack it's a uh, picture of three wolves in the, in the woods it's for my husband he knows I'm stitching it he has forgotten I'm stitching it because he's like he's a ditz I love him um, speaking of my husband here I go off in left field again reverse um, back to the wolves I'm I think I'm gonna frog out the little bit that I have I have maybe 400 stitches in it um, I think I'm gonna frog it out and I'm actually gonna do it two over one tent stitch and I've never done tent, tent stitch before it's gonna be a new experience for me um, so I'm kind of excited for that and I mean I'm I'm stitching it for somebody else I know he's gonna love it either way so I think that's a good one to try it on uh, usually I'm very particular about two over one full cross 25 count that's all my heaven and earths are um, and then I got brave with that one and then with my stitching shelf my super size it's 28 count also um, I'm, I'm still kind of waffling on if I'm gonna go ahead and do that with a 28 or if I'm gonna order size uh, 25 count um, and go ahead and do it two over one like I prefer not sure yet it's so a long ways off I've had that kitted for a year and I I'm not starting anything new I'm not starting anything new I've got too much going on I've got too many big projects going on I'm not starting anything new so Speaking of my husband, back behind me, these are his paintings. Um, what is kind of crazy, my husband had never touched oil paints until about a year and a half ago. That was his first painting. And I'm like, what? Where, did, where was he hiding this talent? And so over here, I'm gonna show you some of his others. These are some of his other paintings. I love this one here. And then up there, I love his beach wave up there. It's just, I'm, I'm so blown away so blown away by his talent that that we had no idea he had um let's get some of my kitchen trash out of the background i'm sitting at my kitchen table so um because the lighting is terrible in my house um everything is backlit uh so this is the only place where i could get decent lighting it's a cloudy day um so natural light's not really gonna work this is my overhead light uh so if i look really tired i mean partially it is because i am but it's uh, so, yeah, that's me in a nutshell. Um, I have no idea how long this video is. Um, I know a lot of people really like long floss tube videos, so I'm not gonna care about rambling because that's what I do. Uh, that's not gonna change. Um, how about I take you guys on a tour of my house? Um, ow, I stepped on one of my frames. Um, I'm gonna pop this off of here. I'm on a tripod, so. Come along with me. We're gonna go on a, on a journey and we're gonna look at let go. There we go. We're gonna look at don't don't look in there. Ooh, don't look in there. <laughs> the kitchen's a wreck. Um, we're still taking down Christmas. My husband's obsessed with Christmas trees. So we had 25 Christmas trees in my house this year. That's that's our main one. Don't look at the desk. Shh, you can't see the desk. You can't see the desk. Shh. But yeah, that's the main tree. Um, one of 25 trees. This is my makeshift craft table right now. As you can see my sewing machine and all my fleece sitting on there uh, because I can't get in my craft room right now with my bum foot, which is down there all wrapped up. Yep. So there's my sewing machine. My serger's still in the other room. There's my Disney tree. Remember how I said I'm in love with Disney? These are all Disney ornaments. By the way, I'm gonna try to do future videos live. Um, I don't have enough subscribers right now to do mobile live, so hopefully that'll be coming in the future. So I'm going to take you around to some of my finished projects. So this up here, this, is, this was a kit, I uh, can't remember who made it, Oriental Butterfly. I finished that a long time ago, um, gosh, probably 10 years ago. Um, there's my neighbor's RV. Uh, this little kitty here, he took me a long time to finish. Um, again with the boring I don't I don't do boring colors well they take me a long time so he sat half finished for a long time but that's my little kitty um, this is my husband's wolves so I'm trying to trying to get the reflection off of here but it's not working very well okay so there's my husband's wolves that was I believe a Jan Lynn kit um, that was an anniversary present two years ago uh, this is the biggest thing I have finished so far the mama tiger and her cubs 
and framed. That is about three feet long. You can see it's above my couch with my doggie on it. Hi, doggie. That's Heidi. Heidi's a white German Shepherd. And she's very happy to be on camera right now. She's hi, guys. She's an old girl. She's about 11 years old. Um, she's a rescue. So she'll show up because she likes to stick her head in everything. So over here um, on this wall up here. This is actually the first cross stitch project I ever finished. I was 11. Made a little Tweety Bird on purple fabric. First thing I ever finished. And this is kind of my pride and joy. Teresa Wensler's The Castle. That is, that is kind of my pride and joy. I love that one. I've always been so proud of it. I finished it in a year and a half. Um, I do have one piece that is missing right now. I'm going to show you this over here. This is something my grandma did. My grandma made that for me. She stitched that. Uh, me, my sister-in-law, my cousin all have matching pieces except in our favorite colors. So Jamie's is teal and Stacy's is green and mine's purple. And then grandma also stitched this up here, the Siamese cats. So I kind of get some of grandma stitching here and there. Oh, we're not going to the kitchen. It's a disaster. <laughs> Pretend you didn't see that. Don't, no, don't look at the desk either. I need to clean. We just had a house party not that long ago and I haven't recovered from it. Um, you remember we were talking about I love roller coasters? This is our roller coaster shelf. Um, yes, these are coaster parts. Those are wheels. There's, I think, three wheels on here, some brakes, bolts, pieces of wood, brackets, support cables, flags, you name it, we've got it. Uh, it if it's roller coaster, we have it. Um, we have a giant Cedar Point banner. We have a flag from the Legend of Holiday World. Those are the flags from Kentucky Rumbler. A uh, picture of me and my husband in front of the Voyage at Holiday World. <laughs> yeah, we're, uh, we're coaster nerds. It's what we do. So anyway, I'm missing a piece right now. Um, one of my finished pieces. Um, it's the Balloon Glow Dimensions Gold Kit. Um, is at my framers. Um, there's kind of a sad story behind that one. I think my husband's home. Somebody's home. Oh, we're going through the kitchen. Who's here? It's my husband. Hello. Hello. He's looking at me like, why are you pointing a video camera at me? Yes. yes say I hello am. to say hello to YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna leave him alone now. Hey, Prime Box, yay. Okay, back to the messy kitchen. Okay. Anyway, so the reason I don't have that piece with me right now, I'm gonna come back over here so you can look at his pretty things. Um, is it was my mom's. Um, I finished it for my mom. She passed away last year. Um, where she had it hanging, she had had to remove the hanger for it. And no. I don't have a way to put it on my wall right now. So my framer is putting a new hang thing on the back of it. All right, I'm going to turn this back around so I can see me again. Hey, it's me again. That last piece that I flipped to of the teddy bear dancing, that's another one that my grandma made. So kind of assorted stuff through there. So we're back to me. And now my husband's home and he's like, what are you doing? You're talking to yourself. What are you doing? No, I'm not. I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to people who aren't here yet. It's all right. You guys will find me. So I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap that up um, just because he's going to be in and out now because he's home and he makes noise and he's going to watch TV and all that stuff. So um, in the future, like I said, I'm going to try to do live videos um, from my phone. Uh, I don't have the equipment to live stream from my camera. So um, once I get 100 followers, which hopefully you guys like me and will follow me, yay, check, click the subscribe button down there. I think it's down there. I think I'm pointing in the right spot. I'm just gonna laugh if it's backwards. Um, anyway, so click the subscribe button. Um, once I get 100 subscribers, I'm gonna start doing live videos. Um, I've always loved doing live videos. I love doing Facebook live videos. So I really wanna looking forward to doing um, some live floss tube videos. So that's the end of my first floss tube and I'll see you guys soon.